My God. <laughs> Being the A&R, can you break mm. that down for the people that's watching? What is it that A&Rs do? And do you feel like the A&Rs nowadays are still putting the smack down like they used to do back in those days? That's a leading question right there. That's a very, very leading <laughs> question. I see what you did. Um, I think the role is supposed to be whatever is necessary. Because mm. um, I, I I do A&R different for different artists. Mm -hmm. Like some mm. artists don't require the same shit. And, yeah. And... You know, and for me, it, it's easy. It's it's just easy because I see people. Mm -hmm. So for Usher, it's like it may require a little more help in the finding producers and writers sometimes, right? Yeah. But Outkast, all is is knowing when to get out of the way. Yeah. With Tip, it's drop him off in a room. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> it's it's different. You know, and now I'm um, executive producing Earth Gang's new album. Yeah. Coming up and. With them, it's just giving, like, they're super talented and, and capable of doing a bunch of shit. It's just giving them scenarios for them to pick from. Yeah. And then they let them make the decisions because as, I think a lot of times the a &R is getting a place where they believe they're making somebody. Uh. Like, like I get weird when people say, hey, man, that nigga, um, that nigga made T. I was like, that's incredibly <laughs> lie. That's a lie. <laughs> like, he was the person he was when I met him. Yeah. I helped. Like I assisted, like I did my part in it, but ultimately you can't make nobody dope. Thanks. Like they gotta come in dope. You just gotta know how to package it. Okay, what do you think it takes to be a star? What are the qualities that a regular person should have that will alert KP to say, you a star? Man, that, that question, I don't even know if they got an answer. Like, mm. because I think everybody, I think everybody has a star capability in something. Like it's just, some people try to direct their light in places where it ain't really gonna shine. You know what I mean? I feel that. You know, it's like, it's, as a DJ, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm dope as a DJ. Yeah. Um, and I love that, but I don't know if I'd be that dope as a rapper, mm. like standing out in front doing that. I don't yeah. know if I'd be that dope as a marketing person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's a bunch of things where it's like, don't, as an NR, the best thing you can do is listen. Yeah. Listen and pay attention. Get to know the person you're talking you talking to and talking about, and find out what they really are trying to sell. Because that's gonna make it easier for you to actually. It makes it easier for fans to recognize them. That's like right. if you make somebody something they ain't, all you did was distort the vision of somebody who could have saw them, who mm. would have liked them. So now you over there, LaFace, doing your thing, but then you realize that you needed to crank up your own label. Mm -hmm. Then you come with Ghetto Vision. Mm -hmm. What was your vision for Ghetto Vision before you even crank it up? Last night was my, um, the show last night was my vision for Ghetto Vision. It was, mm -hmm. um, I was at LaFace, I was doing Outcast. I was doing Goody Mob, a &R Wise, um, and I understood that, and I understood how that made sense to L.A., right? But I also, like, I'm from, you know, Vine City, Oakland City, like, yeah. I, I understand that's another part of Atlanta too. That's right. Like that that I recognized that didn't have a voice. Mm. So I was like, you know, it was like, you know, it was like a little more ghetto. Like, <laughs> like little faces, like shiny. You know, like mm -hmm. it, it felt pristine. And I'm like, yeah. well, I ain't really like that. Yeah. And I know talented people who I would like to listen to, but I understand why they shouldn't be on the face sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So let me do my own thing in L.A. Gave me a production company, a pr uh, production deal, and, yeah. that, and I called it Ghetto Vision. Like he asked me to have a name, and I was like, he was like, you know what, you got a vision, you got what, what's your name, your shit. I'm like, mm, Ghetto Vision. <laughs> I was like, I want my shit to be like Ghetto Vision. I want my shit to be the the other side. I want like Young Bloods. Like yeah. I want the opposite of Outkast. I want, Ooh. you know, I want, I want to have like the other squad. Yeah, and you know, just to give it balance, almost like bringing balance to the force on some shit, like. How do you feel like working on those Goody Mob albums and those Outkast albums prepared you for when it was time for you to do your own thing? It gave me the experience. It mm. gave me the experience and confidence that the ideas weren't wrong. Mm. Because we had contributed these same some of these ideas and some of the the principles of the ideas to things that had worked already. Yeah. You know, like like I'm like I can think of like a million things actually. That's why it's crazy. Um but every time you might have been in the studio working on Outkast and somebody said, hey, man, won't he say this? Or won't, how about, oh, matter of fact, it's like CeeLo. Um, CeeLo, the day he came to the dungeon, 
I was in there, like me and Ray were in there working, or well, Ray was doing a beat, I was just in there listening. And CeeLo came in with um, Floaty, did this verse, and I was like, damn, that shit was crazy. And Ray was like, that shit was crazy too. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. So later on that day, we like, we doing a record, Ray had the beat. I was like, man, you should probably put, you know, like, Shawty should get on it. And everybody, not, not just me, but everybody was like, Shawty should get on this song. Yeah. So I'm at, I just happened to be the person sitting at the, at the board, like, and I guess that was the thing that LA and Pebbles were saying, like, in the being able to see the room and kind of move it around and make yeah. sure everybody was in it. So he came in, he, he, they were like, man, do that verse, do it. No, you're going to be on this song. He did a whole nother verse. Then I was like, hey, and you know how the little thing, like, hey, bro, what, what the shit that you said earlier, though? Like, yeah. that's the one, though. I was like, do yeah. that one. He was like, ugh. <laughs> and, but that was Get Up, Get Out. Mm. So did he do a new verse for Get Up, Get Out or the other verse? No, for Get Up, Get Out. Okay, so here's the thing. There's, he got, there's a song called Rhyme Stack mm. that they did, uh, the Goody Mob has, that he did that verse trying to, like, the first time he walked in the studio, he said, I don't recall ever graduating at all. And I'm like, ooh, this nigga fire. <laughs> like, and... You know, and we we like okay, and Ray had, it was like okay, this he gonna be on this one, so you know we had already discussed all this. So by the time Outkast get there, we like hey, you should put Buddy on this song. Listen to this, hey, go do that shit. He went in, and he did something else, and everybody was like, yeah, that ain't the one. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hey, 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 man, do the other one though, and he, he did that shit, and it was like, you know, it, it, it's those experiences, right? Seeing that. You trust in the gut, like the feeling. Yeah, of, that felt good when he said it earlier. Mm -hmm. It wasn't because the first of the, all his verses are dope. Yeah, it's just understanding that when shit hits you, that it's real. How do you a and a group like Outkast when they're forever changing every album? Yeah, you let them change. Like you get out of the way. That's that, okay. that's what I'm saying. You get out of the way. It's like yeah. understand that the the person is still the person. Like mm -hmm. like if you if you think about Outkast now, right? Yeah. And this could fuck you up a little bit. It was always going to be that. Mm. It was always thought that it could be that. So when you think about a record like my intro to let you know, which is the first song on Southern Playlistic. Yeah. It's guitars. Mm -hmm. It's all, all this shit that it's like it's the signs of this ain't going to be regular Facts. from the from the gate. Mm. So, it, again, if you let people know from again, it's honesty, bro. Like. This who I am first, mm -hmm. and if you gonna fuck with me, fuck with me, and that's the whole point. Like, so it's just again having a plan mm -hmm. at that point. It's like getting to know the person, figure out where you want to go with this, mm -hmm. and and being able to help supply resources to get them there. How do you convince artists to change their direction if you know they're about to run into a brick wall? Though you can't, mm. you can't, you can't. Yeah, you can't change a person's direction. You got to get them options. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like that's that's what I'm saying. Like I don't I don't think it's possible to change a person to make a person to you know what I'm saying find a person. Motherfucker was there already. Like it, it's like you can help. <laughs> like, yeah. And and what I can do is based on a bunch of experiences, like an outcast makes me not be stuck. Mm. Like messing with a group like outcast or messing with. I mean, no, I think just being human, really. If you stay on your your pivot, mm -hmm. like I guess that's the pivot. If you stay on your pivot, you yeah. ain't never really stuck. Stuck. Yeah. So it's like understanding that the room is different. Understanding that the world is changing. Understanding that music changes. Um, those things are the things that I kind of bring. Mm -hmm. Is you know like, like I also like I'm I'm head of music at Pharrell's company. I am other facts, but that allows me information. Like it's all a bunch of information that I can kind of. It's almost like shit going viral. Like if I know something that work, I tell Tip. Tip gonna say this. If I tell, you know, it's like it's that kind of. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's form. It's formula, yep. but it's access. It's access to people. And it's access to to tools.